and she throws out a heal and then sits down. Come on, chick. What? That's all you got? Don't use that skill or you're gonna hurt yourself. Jeez. What is up, guys? It's Soul Bash, and we are playing Tai Chi Panda Heroes. I know we've seen this before, but it was the Chinese version. We couldn't read any of it. So we're going to go through the prologue of it at the very beginning and take a look at it. Now, these are the three main characters right here. Let's get this out of the way real quick. You got Max, you got Lauren, and of course, Panda. And this is the very first intro. I'm not sure if it switches the roles around if you select a different character. Of course, I did choose the Panda to begin with. And what you think you're coming across right here are the jib jabs, what we're used to calling them from Tai Chi Panda. But in this, they are called uh, Tic Tac Warriors. Kind of weird, but that's what they're called now. Keep moving ahead. Be warned, though, might be something. You mustered up all this strength for what? What's the point? Don't tell me this has anything to do with those two shadows. A dead person's questions need not be answered. Okay, so we just got basically tried to kill by Magnus. Uh, that is the big lava dude's name. And we wake up three days later with some random chick in a house. So it's kind of awkward to begin with how it starts you out. Uh, they actually do have voiceovers for this stuff. I did record the audio for it, but it, it's kind of choppy and doesn't really sound well. So I didn't want to include it in the video. Uh, you guys will have a chance to uh, hear it when it does come out. I just defeated a bunch of Tic Tac Warriors. See, that's what they're calling them now. There must be more. And just a little bit of information I did here. It is scheduled for soft launch, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. So if you can't get it in beta, it will be soft launch in the next couple of weeks. And hopefully we'll be out sometime early May for a full global release. But we're going to go through here and got our normal attacks and it's basically going to teach you how to play the game okay we have special attacks and you can't do anything it's going to continue to do that unless you use that special attack right there I actually wanted to move up a little closer to him but it wouldn't let me tic tac timbos kill three of them that's a different thing about this tai chi panda um i know you have the three stars that we're used to getting in maps with this the three stars are set on quest basically kill quest you have set things that you have to do to complete it to get three stars uh, we're running up against the first boss which I believe this is the dark animus um, the general Maguna Maguna is the big uh, rock lava dude that you saw just a while ago and we'll get to him in just a little bit and believe me that is a story for a whole nother day all right here we go first boss and we immediately get set on fire by this guy so we're gonna take him out I always take out trash before you do the boss it makes things a lot easier on you and I miss with that skill the only skill that I have currently if you look at the top right the health bar they're different now instead of being in the center and just being one health bar they are tiered you have uh, four times health bar so I mean the health is still there and then you've got the parry break bar right below it that was the dark animus and within three seconds of beating the boss, it automatically finishes. Of course, it's going to go through a cutscene. And here we go. Dark Animus just tries to come back and take us out. But bam, got shut down. Demons are dangerous and crafty. You need to be careful. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. This place isn't safe. You better return to Crosswind Peaks. Okay, Crosswind Peaks is the major hub city where you first start at. Um, it's a lot different than what we're used to and we'll get to it in just a second when we get out of here and of course you'll have to go find him again and these are all the cutscenes I really didn't want to cut anything out I kind of wanted to show you guys the first full intro of the English version of this of course leveled up looks like confirm yes we did team level up okay I'm gonna explain this to you as well you have different heroes obviously the pets are kind of obsolete here what you have are actually heroes hence the name Tai Chi Panda heroes and you can swap heroes out 
obviously I'm the panda, but I don't have to be the panda if I don't want to. I can swap out any character I want to play as long as I've collected the soul shards for that hero. So it's very interesting and it's been very fun for the time I've got to play it so far. Alright, we're going to speak with the mayor and gets to kind of show you around the city a little bit of the uh, hub here and kind of I'll show you or kind of explain to you what things are. The mayor is the one that helped me just a second ago when the dark animus tried to come back and kill us. He banished it. Crafty little demon. Alright. And he starts talking about the demon army at the mountain and that's where we're going to have to go. Uh, and he saw two men flying across the mega mountain. One white and one black. Is one of them the breathless something? Of the white smoke should be Master Wuxi. As far as the black smoke, he had no idea. Magna is the lava guy I was talking about. And of course it goes through the story of telling him, you know, how he was attacked earlier. I'm not going to skip any of this. I want to actually show you guys the full-fledged game as you're going to experience when you do get to play it. Uh, kind of just maybe a let's play kind of thing. But I'll ramble along through it and we'll continue on and it's very very quest based you get a lot of stuff from quests and here's basically your overview of the city okay right here in the center of the blue hub okay that's where your maps are that's where you go to your instances at obviously up here I haven't done a whole lot up here but I believe this is where the auction house is at yes Tai Chi Panda Heroes does have an auction house you can sell stuff and you can sell stuff for diamonds you can't sell everything but it's definitely unique you go further south on the map this area down here this is where you can go into the open world where you can actually meet people meet up and do different things so it's very interesting we're gonna get into the first skills get vengeful staff I get to actually use this skill now and we're still in the tutorial so it's not gonna let you do anything extra special so we're gonna have to return back and go to the next part of the quest which is complete darkness ruins so let's go down here and it's going to take us to the map I believe yes it is and this is part two of the prologue dark mist ruins and the boss is this guy I uh, didn't catch his name and of course we have a cutscene we need to pass this road to get to the flame caverns the door is closing time is out of the essence okay, we don't need time just throw a bomb in there and let's go that she did all right now obviously I don't know what that really did it just made them to kind of come towards the door and then you just literally run towards the door and voila the door opens smack these guys a couple times they die and we move on now why this chick comes along with you I really don't know she doesn't do a whole lot these little guys right here can be very annoying and I'm gonna show you why in just a second because if you're not used to enemies that small, it can throw you off a little bit. So this second skill that I just picked up, it's very interesting. And when I do it again, I'll actually show you kind of what it does. It's a two part move. It's kind of like the roll for the, tai the panda in the first Tai Chi Panda, but it knocks them up into the air and see, it does that move right there. It's pretty awesome, does quite a bit of damage. And this is what I was talking about. See, we're not used to enemies this small. So if you actually don't notice them, for a second they weren't moving until I started moving around. So if I would have just stood here at the gate, I'd have been like, what the hell is going on? I can't go through. It'll make you want to backtrack. Now I know they did have some problems with uh, enemies dying and still laying on the ground and you had to go back and hit a couple times in the first version, which is Tai Chi Panda. And this version, no. It's just little small creatures that can get annoying. All you gotta do is kill them and you can continue on. Now the cool thing is the items that drop, you technically don't have to run to pick them up. They will come to you now. So that is a thing that they did change. They've made a lot of improvements to the Tai Chi Panda series, of course. And I think this game right here, once it's completely out and done and very well polished, this is going to be an amazing game. I've, already, I've only played it for 
I don't know, probably eight to ten hours so far, and it is amazing. And we get into the next boss. Here we go, and we have the Relic Mage starting out. Did he have five bars? No, he only had four bars of health to begin with. And we're gonna take out the minions, of course, and then we're gonna focus on him. Now, all he's doing is throwing down some big feet, and then he summons some more minions. So they get caught in that, and he goes down pretty quick. Kill the Relic, relic Mage complete, leave the instance, victory, and here's the three star thing I was telling you about. See the goals right there? All you have to do is kill them to complete the goals. There's no time limit to it to actually get to three stars. Team level up again. And back to the team level up thing while I'm going through these quests right here. The team level up, okay. You get experience called team experience. And your heroes level up, of course, when you do missions or instances. But in the open world, you're only getting team experience when you kill stuff. Team experience lets you level up your heroes to the maximum of what your uh, team level is at. So it's quite a bit different. And here we go, Flame Caverns, Maguna, gonna kick your butt. This right here, to be, be the very beginning of the game, this is a pretty awesome instance. Take these couple guys out right here, and we'll move up. Only three more right here. And then we get to go in this creepy looking little cave right here, I believe. No, up some stairs. And of course you do have your DPS meter right there if you want to check your damage. Okay, we got kind of a little bit bigger guy here with a shield. We have all know what this guy does. You gotta get behind him to really do a lot of damage to him. And finish these guys off. One more. And kill two skeletons. Okay, that's one star right there for this instance. All right. And let's check around real quick before we go across the bridge, make sure I didn't actually miss anything. That kind of looked like a treasure chest or something right there, but it wasn't nothing. Uh, there's one up there open, you can't really get anything out of, so we're just gonna continue on. All right, we got two spawning behind us, and let's turn around and use a skill. Take them all out except for the one, and continue on. All right, this is where it gets a little crazy here. You got ball, uh, minion, minions coming out, and then all of a sudden this crazy thing right here comes out of nowhere and it just starts spitting fire so you definitely want to take this thing out first before you turn around to try to focus on these guys and nice cutscene this thing is crazy take a hit bam falls over dead and I'm hurt your old wounds haven't healed yet and you're already adding new ones what's the purpose of fighting if I can't add new wounds come on I must finish my mission let me go and she throws out a heal and then sits down come on chick what that's all you got don't use that skill or you're gonna hurt yourself jeez it's all right you're on your own now let's go I would rather be by myself and let you sit right there these cutscenes are hilarious especially with the voiceovers uh, I will go back pull some cutscenes and we'll do like a top 10 or my favorite or the ones I think that are most hilarious cutscenes and now is where we get to actually go down into the depths of this cavern and here we go bosses not out yet just minions and we got quite a bit of them coming out and it starts to get a little bit overwhelming until this BAM that right there on the left is obviously Borat, and that on the right is a new character in the game called Knight, N-I-G-H-T. Um, she's a magic character, and for this fight, I'm going to be using them as my sidekicks, as they call them. Of course, they are heroes, and this ability, it does an area of damage, as you can see, but once we get out of this fight, um, that ability I believe isn't unlocked until level 20 and then your second one for the second hero that you have in your team is I believe 23 so you gotta get on up in the levels a little bit before you unlock some of the stuff and here comes Magnus you insect my fury is going to burn away every last trace of you bring it on let's do this alright boss fight my favorite part of this game the way it throws you into the aspect of this he does some kind of trippy fall right there. Kind of weird. Good thing about these heroes right here though, they're gonna do more damage than you are to begin with. So they're gonna take aggro from this big guy. 
What you need to do, creep around back and just start laying the damage down on him. He's not really going to target you out of this. And this guy actually had a lot more health than the other ones had. As you could tell, I'm still on bar four and we've done quite a bit of damage to him already. We are working on that parry break though. It's almost halfway down. Get behind him again. He's going to do a frontal area attack. And he should come with another little run and trip here soon. Nope. Knocked him down. Doing a good bit of damage to him. Two bars left on it, and here he goes with a run and trip. <laughs> That's just hilarious. All right, here we go. Let's finish him off. We got him down to the last bar of his health. Let's run out of this. You got plenty of time to get out of the way of that. And run right back up behind him and finish him off. And that is the first boss magnet. Everyone's here this time. And I guess we're just slinging stuff at him. Next time you won't be fighting my protect my projection. So this obviously wasn't Magnus. It was a projection of Magnus created by this weirdo right here standing over here watching us. Little creeper. Okay, why does everything have to be so complicated? You're telling me. For now, our mission is complete. We took out the projection. Didn't get to actually kill the real Magnus, but we'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. And of course, you're gonna split up from these guys here, and you're gonna go on your way. Finish the cutscene, we're done, victory, three star. And this guy's name is Maguna, not Magnus, I'm sorry. Confirm, and here we go. Team level up again, you level up pretty quick to begin with, we're already team level four. And we've been playing the game, what, 15 minutes? It's crazy. All right, we're gonna claim the rewards. Get a lot of rewards for doing this. And we're gonna continue on with the quest, Sora. Now, the quest lines are very intricate. There's a lot going on. This game is built around quests. I'm enjoying doing them so far. It actually introduces you to being able to do them inside and outside of the instances in the open world. So it is an awesome thing to do. And pretty soon we'll get into doing some daily quests. I'll, I'll run you through those. But I believe that is gonna be it for this video. This is the prologue for Tai Chi Panda Heroes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am Sobash. You guys have a nice day.